In this video, we're going to see how we can add our own entrance animations uh, to the default Elementor entrance animation list under the um, motion effects. Uh, in the uh, video description, you have a link uh, to this article, and we are going to be using the same code uh, examples in the article. So, in terms of the what we need to do, we basically have two steps uh, that needs to be done. One is using this PHP filter to add the animations and questions to the list in the editor, and the other is the actual code for the animations. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use Woody Snippet but uh, as a code manager to add the code, but you can use uh, whatever method that uh, you're comfortable with. So, first things first is the PHP code. So, we need the PHP snippet and we need to copy the code and then we just need to make sure that the snippet in question runs everywhere by default. So, let's copy the code and go back to our install. So, under Woody snippets, we're going to create a PHP snippet. Click add, give it a title. Uh, so, Entrance animations PHP. Paste the code that we have, and then under the base options, where to execute, click run everywhere. So in the um, PHP code, you can see that we're using the PHP filter in question, and we ask it to run this function. And in the function definition, we return an array, and within this array we can group our, our animations. Uh, so similar animations can be within the same group, just like the default ones where you have a uh, big, bold, fading, heading, uh, that would be the group name, and then each animation uh, related to fading is underneath it. And in our case, we have uh, basic scale animations group, and below it, and we're going to see stretch left, stretch right, stretch down. And on the left side of this declaration, um, declaration is the CSS classes that we're going to be adding. Uh, so let's hit publish. Uh, if we refresh this page and look at our entrance animation list, we should see the entries that we just added at the bottom. So as you see, we have the basic scale animations with stretch math, etc. Okay, so the next step is to actually add the um, CSS code. So I'm just going to grab the code and go back to Woody Snippets. So we need to create a CSS snippet, uh, add the code, and then in the base options, in this case, we're going to run it in the footer, but you can change the location and whatnot, however you want. Uh, so let's see, in with these snippets, we're going to add a CSS snippet. I'm going to give it a name, so same thing, entrance uh, animation. CSS and just paste the code that we copied from the article. And under the base option, just like it says in the article, we're going to put it in our footer. That's all we have to do. Uh, so just click publish. And again, if we refresh, uh, we go to the motion effects and now if we choose an option it will run automatically once it enters the viewport. In this case it's already in the viewport so it runs automatically. And we're basically doing just a simple scale on the x-axis or the y-axis. And uh, when we do this in this fashion uh, with the filter, we basically can reuse these options as well. So we can use the durations and we can have uh, the delay working as well. So let's see how we can mix and match those. Uh, for we're under the section and we go going to choose, let's say, stress right. Uh, we're running the animation 
uh, on normal, and as it states in the article, uh, for the normal duration it runs for, by default, 1.25 seconds. Uh, so in the other elements, we're going to give it a bit of a, a delay. We're going to keep it on normal, but uh, let's see. I'll go down. Uh, yeah, sure. Down and uh, 1.25, so let's say 1300 milliseconds. So they would run just after the section animation uh, finishes. And uh, I don't know, uh, right? No, I'm not sure why not. Doesn't matter. Uh, and update, and now if we preview, the animations run as expected. So in the same fashion, you can add any type of animation you can imagine. You can replace the existing um, slide and uh, fade or zoom or whatever if you want. Uh, I don't like the the existing slides. They're like too big, but uh, you can do whatever type of animation, block type animations, overlay type animations. Uh, you can even include uh, animations that require JS and SVG. Uh, we'll see how to do an SVG type of animation uh, in the next video where we will cover how to do the same thing, uh, but in this case for the hover animation, so we can uh, add our own custom hover animations. Uh, look forward to it. I hope you like the video. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please comment on the video. If you like it, press that like button and whatnot. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.